Hey guys, Keith here. I'm using Xlight 2020.38 and there was a change in this release that's uh, potentially useful to people of 3D, particularly people that have taken a lot of time uh, to get a model of their house that is dimensionally accurate, etc. and would like to understand or, or understand the size of their props using the measurements or the dimensions of their house and make sure that they build things to scale. So you know, this mega tree here is clearly way, way, way bigger than this very small version of my house. But what if I wanted to make this precisely uh, five meters or 17 feet tall, uh, which is roughly how high it is when it, it would be with my house. Uh, and there's no really easy way to do that. Yeah, you can take it over next to the house and say, well, this is where it comes to. But a lot of people have looked at this and said, you know what, it would be really, really cool if uh, we could measure how big that is. But there's no dimension mechanism. You, you look at the tree and uh, it, it has a set of uh, X, Y, Z coordinates that uh, are just not that useful. Uh, here, uh, you know, X, Y, Z is where it is and then it's got a scale. It's got nothing here that you could say would easily uh, reference it. And I know some people have, you know, created things on their house or something for various sizes and measure things against it. But in, in dot 38, there's a change which actually makes this infinitely easy to use and who knows it could get better in the future and the concept here is uh, and you have to be in 3d this does not work in 2d because obviously the distance of props uh, is not accurately represented and therefore something close to you would look really large when something behind you further away would look quite small and so that's not really useful there but what there is is this thing where you can add a ruler and when you add a ruler, you just get this pink line that's added. If you go back and try to add another one, you can't. And that's because a ruler is an object that can only exist once. Now, conceptually, what you're meant to do with this ruler is measure. And so what you do is you take the ruler over and you put it down next to your house. And let's try and get this right. Oh, I've gone a little bit low. This is always the challenge with 3D. But let's bring it up. Let's get ourselves onto the axis here. And what I'm going to do is I am going to pick on my garage door here and I am going to try to measure my garage door. Now, obviously, Xlights has no idea how big my garage door is. But what I can do is I can come over, uh, click on the various end bits here and move those in so that the, the line is a roughly equivalent to the end. And I can come to the other side, grab it and drag it in so that, that the intersection here is roughly there. Quickly double check this one. Oops. Yeah, that looks roughly right. And we'll click away. And so that pink line now looks roughly correct. Now, once you've done that and you've still got your ruler selected over here, uh, we have to come over and set some properties. Now, the size and location doesn't really matter. What matters here is these dimensions. So the first thing I need to get choose is what I want to measure it in. Uh, now, I prefer to measure things in millimeters. Now, I know that's really small, but it's more of an engineering way to measure things. And so it's easy for me to think in. And then I need to think about, well, how wide is my door? Now, obviously, I would go and get my measuring tape out, but let's imagine, uh, let's imagine that it's uh, uh, 3,000 millimeters or three meters wide. And so you put the real length here in these units for that particular part of your house. At this point, you can take this model and make it inactive, which will hide it. It will totally go away. It won't stop existing. It'll still be up here, but it's now uh, hidden, but I've now got that measurement against my house in uh, real dimensions. So now I can come over and click on my models and I can click on my tree, for instance. And if you look down here, it tells you that these are the dimensions of my tree. It tells you uh, that it's uh, 13,000 millimeters wide, which is about 13 meters. That's 
very large. Uh, the height is 23 meters. It's about the height of a three-story building. So it's a pretty high tree. So we're going to need to shrink that tree down a little bit. And as we move it, we can bring it down. And we need to get it down to about a five meter tree. It doesn't have to be exactly five meters. Close enough is good enough. Now, obviously, it's also a little bit wide, and so we can bring it in. Let's bring it in so it's about uh, two and a half or 2.4 meters. That's about right. And then we'll also bring it the depth into about 2.4 meters as well. 2.6, 2.2. Oh, it's close enough. Oh, there it is. 2389, that'll do. So now I've got a tree that is actually 2.4 meters tall relative to the house. Now I'm going to want to put this on the ground, so let's plonk it back down onto the ground. And if I bring it up to the house, I can tell you that it, it the 2.4 meter tree comes in just under the arch of the house there, um, which this one does. So it's probably quite an accurate representation of a tree that is 2.4 uh, oh, sorry, five meters tall. Now this works with all of the props. Um, well, most of the prop types. So if I switch over here to my candy canes, uh, you can see down here that the length of my candy canes, which is how far across between here and here the candy canes are, is about, in this case, 21 meters and the height is 10 meters. And of course, I can adjust those all around and shrink things down. Um, and so forth. It does the same thing with the arches. Uh, with the three-dimensional props like a, a sphere, again, it will give you a depth as well as a height um, and a width. Uh, for two-dimensional props like our star here, it's only going to give you the width and the height because it doesn't technically really have a depth. And so this is a, almost a 13 meter by 13 meter star as drawn. Now, some other model types like the channel block and the DMX models, there's no dimensions at all here. And that's because these things are not really dimensioned props. They are just representations and they don't actually have a size. Now, you could argue a moving head does but in this sense, uh, it's not really a critical element. And so we're not representing the size here. And x -Lite doesn't really purport to show things correctly. Now, the other thing I'll mention while we're at it is that you can also see the dimensions down here. So if you expand out above the size and location, there's a new dimension section and you can see it in here. They are grayed out and that's because you can't directly change them or edit them here. Uh, a possible future improvement is to make this thing editable so that you can go in and type in the real world dimensions of your prop and not worry so much about all of these scales and everything else and have X lights work all of that stuff out. That doesn't exist right now, but it's not such a big deal because you still do have that option of holding, uh, of, of moving uh, the, the, the sizing, uh, oops, moving the sizings around and shrinking it and making it bigger. Uh, using those things and watching the size down in the bottom left hand corner there until you get the prop to be the size that you want it to be. So for those that really like to get their props exactly proportional to the house, hopefully you will find that a, uh, a useful improvement in x Lights is available in 2020.38. Uh, I know I've been a little slack in getting some of the update videos out for a number of releases. I don't think I've covered 2019 through to this version, but uh, I will try and get that out in the next week or so. Thanks, guys. Bye.